So how do you go from setting up the ring to getting a mic in your hand and being a ring announcer? <laughs> well, the first time it ever happened, we were setting up, we were doing the ring in, uh, in I think it was um, Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. And we set the ring up and the show's about to start. And uh, Joey comes to me and he's like, you know, they want to know if you just want to ring announce, you know? And I said, ring announce. I said, I've never done that before. No, I don't want to do it. He's like, they need somebody. The guy didn't show up. They want you to ring announce. And I'm like, look, I'm dressed in like sweatpants and a t-shirt here. I mean, like, what do you want me to do? You know? And, and he's, you know, then they, they, I think it was Arnie or something said, we'll pay you 50 bucks. I'm like, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> you know? So he's like, all you got to do is don't go in the ring. Just sit by the table at ringside and announce the guys as they come out. So that's what I did. I just did that. And that was it. And it, it didn't really move on from there. But after a while, as the business started to get bigger and bigger and you did more things and we were like at the show, and we wouldn't just be hanging out in the parking lot at, with the ring truck or anything like that, or just sitting in the stands. We would actually be there like uh, timekeeping or taking jackets or, you know, playing the music or something like that. And you get to know and see what these people are doing and how they're doing it. And I think they, I forget even how it evolved after that, but they were like, hey, you know, Chimmel's at the show. Why do we have to fly in a ring announcer or go pay somebody? You know, we can have Chimmel do the announcing, you know? And I just started doing it at smaller venues and you see how the other people were doing it and stuff like that. And that's how I just got started doing it. They must have thought you did a good enough job if they wanted you to do it again. Well, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you know, it, it was it was weird at first. And, you know, I would do it some shows, some shows they already had a guy there that would do it or something like that. And I wouldn't announce all the time and stuff like that. But I remember one time when I was overseas, uh, Bruce Pritchard saw me ring announce. This was later, a few years after I was doing it. And he saw me he saw me ring announce for the first time and thought I was pretty good. And I think he said something to the office and I was like announcing at TVs a little bit after that. So props to Bruce for that.